When I first started in my career, there was limited treatment options and the median survival of the patients I was seeing was about 10 months. Since then, there have been great advances in prostate cancer and the median survival is now exceeding 36 months. What we're trying to do is develop a precision medicine or personalized medicine approach to treatment using a liquid biopsy approach. Liquid biopsies are where we take a blood sample and we identify the cancer DNA floating around in the bloodstream. In this way, we're able to genetically profile the cancer and hopefully find susceptibilities in that cancer that we can target with new therapies. For prostate cancer, there are limited treatment options for men with advanced disease. By identifying these uh, potential genetic abnormalities, we can identify patients, a small subsets of patients that could benefit from targeted therapies. It's amazing now, we do these genetic analyses on our patients and we can just tell by the, 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 the laboratory tests, the genetic tests, which are gonna be more aggressive and which aren't, um, without knowing anything else about the patient, just understanding the genome. So this is gonna be mission critical, being able to expand this to all patients. So I, I think where we're gonna go um, is that we are going to cure when we can cure. We're going to leave the cancers alone that don't need to be treated or don't need to be cured. And for the men where we can't cure, we're gonna turn it into a chronic disease where it's gonna be the least of their worries and we'll manage it just like we have manage high blood pressure or diabetes and so on. Uh, we'll manage it like a chronic disease that won't be life-threatening. That's my goal.